KPM. <sighs> okay, these are heavy. I need to get rid of this. Okay, um, this is a... No, I don't think it's this one. Um, if this is blue, plastic, no. Maybe it's this one. Um, I'm not too sure. This is so hard. Hello there. Hi, um, can you help me? I don't think I can figure this out. I don't know where this goes. I have uh, glasses, I have papers. I'm not sure. Can you help me? Yes, sure. You seem confused. Let me help you. So you, you are trying to put the water bottles? Yes. Okay. And then this one as well? All right. Uh huh. Okay, so the bottles are made from plastic. This is plastic. So blue is actually for papers. Uh huh. Brown bean is for glasses. All right. And orange bean is for plastic bottles okay if i'm not if i'm not wrong i think paper goes into blue so i'll put this in yes very Is that well right? okay and then i have the plastic which goes into the brown one um i don't think no. so okay sorry i think it goes in the red one yes okay, very good let me put it in there and the rest of the plastics yes and then lastly we have glasses and of course, because this is the only empty one, it goes here. So yes. brown is for glasses. Correct. Okay. All right. So I guess this is right because um, thank you for helping me out. Can I know who you are? Hi, my name is Amira Husna. I'm an English teacher at SMK Datuk Mustafa. Oh, I see. So that means you're our teacher for today. Yes. All right. So there you go. Here's our teacher, Miss Amira. She'll be teaching us Bahasa English today. And before we go further into this, let's take a look at her profile. Assalamualaikum and good morning. You're watching Teras at Didi TV KPM with me, Shafika Farahin Razali, your host for today. And as you can see just now, we were talking about recycling using glass, using uh, uh, plastics, and also paper. So these three stuff are the main components of the things that we use for recycling and figuring out which ones to dispose where. And this is to preserve the environment. And that's exactly what we're going to learn today about the environment. And just now we've taken a look at the profile for the teacher. So let's introduce her in this studio, Miss Amira. Thank you for joining us today. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How you, do you do? I'm good. Thank you for asking. All right, teacher, before we go any further, can I know more about you? Okay, hi. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Amira Husna binti Muhammad Razali. You can call me teacher Amira. Uh, I'm currently an English teacher at SMK Datuk Mustafa, so this will be my sixth year of teaching. Ah, you've been around for six years? Yes. That means it's around the same time I've been here. <laughs> yeah. All right, teacher, before we go any further, let's first introduce our students for today because do you agree if we say it's a bit dull without students around? Yes, true. All right, so let's invite them in. Hi, students, how are you? Hello, hi, guys. Hi, okay. Can you uh, help me to introduce yourself one by one, starting with Adrien? Hi, Adrien. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My Hi, name is Adrien Adrien Azmi. I'm from SMK Datuk Mustafa, and you can call me Adrien. All right, Adrien, can I ask you a question? Is Bahasa yes. English your favorite subject? Yes, of course. Okay, that's great to know. All right, next is. Okay, Arun. Hi, Arun. Hi, my name is Arun Anisha with Timak Yusuf. You can call me KD. And I'm from SMK Datuk Mustafa. Oh, okay, sorry. What was your glamour name again? Sabi? KD. KD. Yes. Oh, KD. very nice. Okay, KD. Thank you for telling me that. All right, next, can we have Nur Sofia? Hello guys, my name is Nasofia Kistina and I'm from SMK Datuk Mustafa. All you right. can call me Sofia. Okay, Sofia. Thank you, Sofia. Next, can we have Shasha? Uh, 
Hi, my name. My name is Nuria Shashki Mete Roslan and I am from SMK Datuk Mustafa. Okay, all right. And our last student, Nurul Atira. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Atira bin Mak Fauzi. You can call me Atira. And I'm from SMK Datuk Mustafa. All right, that's great. Thank you, everyone. Okay, teachers, now that we know the students today, uh, we'd like to know more about what we're going to learn today. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to educate the students about the importance of saving the environment. So we're going mm -hmm. to list down uh, the environmental problems occur nationwide. I see. So we're talking about the environment and how to save the environment. Yes. Now, what? How, how much do we know about the environment? We know that it's nice for us to see, but if we don't keep it clean, it wouldn't look nice, right, teacher? Yes, true. And then what else is being... Uh, being uh, uh, important in this class. What's being emphasized here? Is it this? What type of skill? Okay, we are going to practice the reading skill here, where mm -hmm. students are going to use the scheming and scanning as their reading strategies. Ah, these strategies are important for reading. Yes, true. For English classes, uh, besides reading, what are the other skills that we need to emphasize on? Okay, for English lesson, there mm -hmm. are four important skills, mainly the reading and writing and then the listening and also speaking. I see. So for this topic, we'll learn more about reading. But at the same time, it's a good uh, time for us to practice our listening skills as well. Right, yes, teacher? Yes, true. Okay. So can we go through one by one what we'll be touching on today uh, on the reading part? Okay. So for the first reading, the students are going to skim the text where they are going to read the text quickly just to get some rough ideas about the text. Mm -hmm. While for the second reading, they are going to scan the text for some keywords. Ah, I see. So students, you'll be reading a text, so you have to be prepared for that. And also, you need to know which part you have to pronounce very clearly. Right, teacher? Yes, true. All right. So before we go on to that, for students out there and students in here with us, joining us, please take a look at this trivia before while well, we go for a short break and when we come back we'll begin with the class today Save the environment is to recycle unwanted item like this and use reusable bags to replace plastic bags. Thank you. Today, I would like to talk about what are the small things we can do to save the environment. First thing we can do is recycling. Recycling is such a simple thing to do, but so many people don't do it. Many garbage disposal companies offer recycling service, so check the with the company you use to see if they can help you to get started. It is as simple as getting a bin and putting it out with your trash can for free. Next, we can save electricity. Use energy efficient like bulbs instead of regular bulbs. This lasts longer. They are last longer, which will save you a bit of money. Don't turn the shower until you are get ready to wash your hair. Limit your water usage as you wash dishes. Changing all habit will, will be good for both uh, both the environment and your wallet. That's all for me. Thank you and have a nice day. There's a lot way of saving our environment. For example, planting trees is should be given massive attention. Above all, a tree is the source of our oxygen. Unfortunately, due to construction, many trees have been cut down. This certainly reduces the amount of 
oxygen in the environment. Growing more trees means more oxygen. Hence, growing more trees would mean better life quality. Similarly, people must give attention to forest conservation. Forests are vital to the environment. However, deforestation certainly reduces the area of forests around the world. The government must launch programs to conserve the forest. The government must make harming forests a criminal offense. Hello and welcome back to Teras on Diri TV KPM and we're still with uh, teacher Amira to teach us today on Bahasa Inggris with the title The Environment. Right teacher, Miss Amira? Yes. Before we start anything, let's first practice the SOP set by our government. So uh, I would like to uh, invite you to wear the hand sanitizer. Thank you. All right. And then for me as well. So for this uh, is a reminder to everyone to always practice the SOP. We have to always wear your mask outside when you go out of your homes and then maintain a social distancing of at least one meter between each other and always wash your hands. If not, just do like we did, wear your hand sanitizers, all right? Okay, so before we start, teacher, we actually had one student who came in, uh, Aliana, all right? Okay, Aliana just came in. So Aliana, can you first introduce yourself, please? Hi, my name is Nur Aliana Najwa. You can call me Yana and I'm from SMK Dato Mustafa. All right, there you go, Yana. Thank you for that. Okay, so are our students all ready for today's class? Can you give a thumbs up for me? All right. Okay, okay, that's great. All right, Teacher Amira, you can start with the lesson. All right, thank you, Fika. Okay, so the lesson for today is based on Unit 5 entitled The Environment. So this is a topic from English Form 5 textbook, English Download B1+. Plus. So the lesson for today comprises reading as the main skill and also complementary skill. Okay, before we start with the lesson, I'm going to talk about the lesson objectives. Mm -hmm. By the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to identify the common idea presented in four reading texts. Mm -hmm. They will also be able to guess the meaning of six words using the clues provided by other words in the context of environment. Okay, ah. so I have these few pictures of environmental problems. So okay. we are going to ask the students' opinions about the pictures. Okay. All right, can I have the first person? Okay. All right, who would like Shasha. to try? Sasha. Sasha, are you there? Yes. All right, Sasha, can you take a look at the first picture? Okay, so what is the environmental problem shown in the first picture? I think it is the destruction of forests. Okay. Destruction of forest. So the right. first picture is destruction of forest or deforestation. That looks like a massive destruction of forest. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So Shasha, what do you think is the cause of destruction of forest? I think because for this destruction of forest is uh, an illegal logging which has happened often. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is due to illegal logging. Illegal so logging. how do you think this affects us? It can make our flora and fauna ecosystem destroyed mm -hmm. and our forest percentage will be decreased. Right. Okay, thank you, Shasha. Thank so you, Shasha. destruction of forests can affect our ecosystem and some biodiversity loss. There will be uh, the extinction of the rare animal species and right. also the habitat of the flora and fauna. Okay. okay, next picture. Mm, next picture. Okay, for next picture, KD. KD. KD, can you tell me what is the environmental problem shown in the second picture? Uh, it is flood. Okay, it is flood. All right. Okay, so that is the picture of flood. So, mm -hmm. what do you think is the cause of flood? Um, it caused by heavy rain and poor drainage system. So it is caused by heavy rain and maybe poor drainage system. So how do you think flood affect us? It affect us uh, by we loss of life, loss of family members, loss of mm -hmm. properties and loss of crops. Yes, flood can cause such a big loss. Loss yes. to the properties, loss mm -hmm. of family members and loss of lives. Yes, so that is I really totally horrible. Agree. Um, may I ask, uh, for floods, uh, when Shasha, uh, sorry, when KD mentioned about poor drainage system, can I ask KD as well, um, what are the causes of poor drainage system? 
Perhaps you can try to answer. Okay, did you have some idea? Any ideas? Maybe one factor. Um, uh, human throw rubbish in the drain mm -hmm. and it stuck. Ah, OK. That's a great answer, right, teacher? Oh, yes. People okay. throw rubbish in the drain, so uh -huh. it causes the jam in the drainage system. In the drainage system. Thank All you, right. KD. Let's move on to the third picture. Let's move on. All right, for the third picture, can mm -hmm. I have Adrian? Adrian. Adrian, can you please tell me what is the environmental problem shown in the third picture? It is smoke picture. Okay, so that is smoke or haze. So what is the cause of smoke? Factors of smoke actually from air pollution like um, mm -hmm. open burning of forests and smoke from factories. Okay, so right. smoke mainly caused by the air pollution mm -hmm. such as the smoke from factories and mm -hmm. other pollutants as well. Right. Okay, so how do these affect us? Smoke can affect our respiration system and it also can make an accident because we cannot see clearly while driving. Yes, mm -hmm. true. Especially when we are driving yes. on the road, mm -hmm. so it will cause blurry vision. So we yes. might get into accidents. Um, actually, haze is very common in uh, Kuala Lumpur and Selangor, yes. right, teacher? Yes. It's a, it's a dangerous situation to drive in. And sometimes um, you can't even go outside the house. Yes, true. Right, okay. Continue, teacher. Okay, let's mm -hmm. go to the fourth picture. Okay, for the fourth picture, can I have Aliana? Aliana, the newcomer. Aliana, can you tell me what is the environmental problem occur in the fourth picture? It's show about polluted beaches. Okay, so this is a picture of a polluted beach. All right, so what do you think is the cause of polluted beach? I think it's come from people who throw rubbish everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you can see there is a lot of rubbish in the picture. It's very obvious. Yes. There's even a football there. Yes, mm -hmm. people are throwing rubbish everywhere, so they Goodness. end up in the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you, how do you think this affects us? I think it can damage our ecosystem and so can make our beach become smelly. Yes, it will affect our, our uh, beach mm -hmm. and then the ecotourism as well because the beach will become smelly and dirtier. That's true. A teacher, and one more thing, people won't even come yeah, to the beach anymore yes, and true. our tourism site will go down. Yep, mm -hmm. that is one of the side effects. Yes, <laughs> true. Let's move on to the next picture. All right, for the fifth picture, can I have Atira? Atira. Atira, what is the environmental problem shown in the fifth picture? It is about drinking water quality. Okay, drinking water quality. So what do you think is the cause of bad drinking water quality? It's caused by poor sanitation and contaminated water. Okay, so you can see that the little girl in the picture is uh, drinking directly from the tap water. So we might worry about the hygienic or the sanitation of the water, whether mm -hmm. it is really clean to drink directly from the tap water. Yes. All right, so how do these affect us? It affects our health, such as diarrhea, nervous system, and chronic disease, such as cancer. Oh, oh it may lead to cancer. Yeah. That is really horrible. That's horrible. And also infections as well, uh, yes. teacher? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to the last picture. The last okay, picture. Okay, for Who picture number like six, can I have answer. Sophia? Sophia. Sophia, can you tell me what is the environmental problem occur in the last picture? is oil spills. Okay, so that is the picture of oil spills at the sea. So how, what do you think is the cause of the oil spills? Maybe it's caused by accidents from ships. Okay, so it is caused by mainly by the accidents from the ship, so that is true. So how do these affect us? Where humans usually eat protein, so it will affect those fish and shellfish, and it's unsafe for humans to eat. Yes, it can affect the aquatic living, aqua, aquatic life. Sorry, mm -hmm. so it will also affect our source of protein because mainly our source of protein comes from the sea. Comes from the sea, yes. correct? From fishes and mm -hmm. from octopuses, and also, um, how does it affect the sea? It, it covers it, right? Yes, and mostly then, part of it. Mostly part of it, mm -hmm. and then they won't be able to have air to breathe. Yes, true. Ah, okay. 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 All right, mm -hmm. now let's move on move to the on. next task. 
Okay, so for this one, we are going to have the first reading. Mm -hmm. For the first reading, we are going to use scheming as the reading strategy. Scheming? Fika. Scheming is the reading strategy where students read the text quickly just to get some rough ideas about the text. Oh, I uh. see. Uh, actually, when I heard skimming, I think about milk because I heard skimmed <laughs> milk. I didn't know skimming was also included in reading, but that's very interesting, teacher. Yes, OK. Mm -hmm. So let's start our reading. Uh, teacher, before we start this, because it's a whole new thing to learn, and mm -hmm. the first topic of our today, uh, we'll go for a short break first, and the students can take a short break as well. So we'll be right back on Teras Dede TV KPM. You're back with Teras on DD TV KPM with me, Shafika Farhan Razali, and also our topic for today, which is the environment for Bahasa Inggris. So we're we're still with uh, Miss Amira for our teacher today. So she's going to go through the skimming process of reading. So teacher, the floor to you. Okay, thank you. All right. So the title of the reading text for today is "Teen Saving the Environment." So from the text, we are going to read about these amazing teenagers and their incredible ideas to save the environment. Okay, for viewers at home, you may refer to your textbook, English Download B1 Plus, pages 58 to 59. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the first reading text, okay. text A. Okay, for text A, can I have Shasha? All right, Sasha, here's your time to shine. Shasha, can you help me to read the text out loud? Can you read the first and second sentences of the text? First and second ah, sentences. Yes. 16-year-old Nadav Kosen Driver is the creator of Kruger Sightings, a website that follows wildlife such as lions, rhinos, elephants, giraffes and leopards in Kruger National Park in South Africa. The website started as a blog where Nadav wrote about the best places to see the animals. Alright, can you now read the last sentence of the text? It it provides visitors with contact numbers to report such incidents. All right, Shasha. So who is the person mentioned in the text? Um, Nadav Osen Driver. Okay, so you can see over mm -hmm. here, Nadav Osen Driver. Right. Okay. All right, so Nadav Osen Driver is the creator of Kruger Sighting. So what is his effort to save the environment? I think his effort is uh, he create a website that follows wildlife and provide visitors contact number to report illegal poaching. Okay, so he created a website that follows wildlife and the website also provide contact numbers for visitors mm -hmm. to report the incident of illegal poaching. All right, thank you, Shasha. Teacher, can I ask one thing? Yes. Why is it that you ask Shasha to read uh, the first two sentences and also the last line. Okay, usually the first part of the text or the introduction, they have the thesis statement. Uh -huh. So that is the main idea coming from. And then the last sentence, uh -huh. they conclude the main idea again. Oh, so that is the process of skimming as yes. well. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to text B. Okay. All right, for text B, can I have KD? KD. KD, can you please read the first and second sentences of the text? Um, plastic is useful because it is strong and it lasts a long time. Unfortunately, those qualities also make plastic a disaster for the environment because it takes 1,000 years to this man-made material to break down. Wow, 1,000 years just to break down. Imagine a lot That's whole plastics true, teacher. on the planet. That's a long time. All right, Katie, can you read the last sentence of the text? He experimented with the bacteria at different temperatures and managed to break down 43% of the plastic in only six weeks. A major scientific breakthrough. All right, Katie. So who is the person mentioned in the text? Uh, 
Um, Daniel Bird. Okay, so the person mentioned in the text is Daniel Bird here. All right. Okay, so what is the effort done by Daniel Bird to save the environment? He identified two types of bacteria that work together to decompose plastic in only six weeks with the shorter time. Okay, so he identified, he successfully identified two types of bacteria mm -hmm. that work together to decompose plastics in much shorter time, which is only six weeks. Six weeks is a big difference to yes, 1,000 years. Yes, true. Ah, did he succeed, teacher? Yes. He did? It was uh, a major scientific breakthrough. Ah, he is. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank so, you, KD. Let's move on to taxi. All right. For taxi, can I have Sophia? All right. Sophia, Sophia, can you please read the first and second sentences of the text? In 2010, the U.S. produced 2.4 million tons of e-waste with a huge amount of debt being mobile phones. Jason Lin, a 15 years old high school student, learned about from at schools and set up a business to reduce e-waste by keeping all gadgets Okay, so he kept all gadgets out of landfills. Mm -hmm. Can you now read the last sentence of the text? With Ivory Tron, consumers make Ivory Tron make a profit and electronics broken up in a landfill. Alright. Okay, so with iRetron, consumers make money on their gadget. iRetron makes a profit and electronics don't, don't end up in a landfill. Okay, Sophia, can you tell me the person mentioned in the text? Jason Lin. Okay, so the person mentioned in the text is Jason Lin. He is a 15-year-old high school student. So what is his effort to save the environment? He and his friends set up a business to reduce e-waste by collecting those old just to fix them and resell them online. Okay, so he set up a business to reduce e-waste. So he collect all gadgets and then he repair them and then sell them online. Online, okay. okay. Okay, so they are actually reducing the electronic waste. They are. Okay. I can see that. All right, thank you, Sophia. Let's move on to Tax D. Okay. Okay, tax for Tax D, can I have Adrian? Adrian, can yeah. you please read the first and second sentences of the text? Sure. 19 years old Alec Rose is the founder of Kids vs. Global Warming and the organizer of the I Meet the March. In 2011, he took the US to court for not doing enough to protect the atmosphere for future generations. Alright, can you now read the last sentence of the text? If you agree with Alec, you can join an I Meet the March and let the government know what you think. Okay, so... Uh, who is the person mentioned in the text? Alec Lurz. Okay, so the person mentioned in the text is Alec Lurz. He is 19 years old. So, so young. what is his effort to save the environment? Oh, he is the founder of Kids vs. Global Warming and the organizer of the I Matter March. Okay, so Alec Lurz is the founder of Kids vs. Global Warming and the organizer of the I Matter March. So I met the March uh, actually took the US to court. They are suing the government for not doing enough to protect oh, the atmosphere. I okay? see. Mm -hmm. So through All I met right. the March, they can let the government know what they are thinking about the environment. So it's an opinion-based uh, website. Yes. Ah, oh, that's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Adrian. Okay. So let's move on to the second reading. Uh, teacher, if I may, uh, from what I see uh, when you're reading uh, through skimming, you have to point out the subject first yes. and then point out what the subject is doing. Mm. What are the efforts by the subject? Is yes. that correct? Yes. Ah, okay. That's... That is roughly the main ideas of the text. So you ah. want to know the person and what is his, his effort in doing uh, the ability to save the environment. I see. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. For the second reading, we are going to apply scanning mm -hmm. as the reading strategy. All right. So for scanning, students usually uh, identify the keywords from the question and then they will read the text again and scan the text for the similar keywords. Okay, so that's three steps. Yes. First, skim. Mm -hmm. Second, scanning. go through scanning. Uh -huh. And then the third one is identify the, the keywords. keywords yes. All right. Three things. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so I have 10 questions here. You are going to read the text again to find the following information. Mm -hmm. Okay, for this part, Fika, All right, me. you may pick. 
okay. the students to answer the question. I will pick the students. Yes. All right. My stu uh, the students that I would pick is Nurul Atira. Okay, Atira. Can you try? All right, Atira, for question one, which uh -huh. paragraph mentions using the internet to keep the planet clean? Can you please identify the keyword from the question first? Keyword is internet and cleaner. Okay, so there are two keywords. The first keyword is internet. internet. And the second keyword is cleaner. Cleaner. We are defining that as the keyword because we can see that it is the glaring words over there. So it's obvious that, that these are the keywords. Uh, uh, teacher, what about planet? Is that not the keyword? Or mm. is that something... The aim is to see whether what what happened to the planet. Does it become cleaner oh. or dirtier? Oh, so the main subject is still the internet. Yes. Because the internet is responsible for making it cleaner. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Now okay. I see it clearly. All right. All right. So the first keyword is internet. Okay. Internet. The second keyword is cleaner. cleaner. All right, Atira, can you tell me which paragraph from the text tells about mention using the internet to keep the planet cleaner? Paragraph. Sorry, I cannot hear you. Uh, paragraph A. Paragraph A. Is it paragraph A? No, C. I, I think she said three. Three? Paragraph three. three. Uh, it's letter. It's supposed to be oh, it's paragraph to be A, a B, C or D. Atira, can you speak louder? Can paragraph you speak? C. Paragraph C. Okay, all right. I think she's saying, uh, are you referring to the internet? Can, okay. I think she's having a bit of a communication uh, problem. Can we yeah. try someone else? Uh, can yeah, someone sure. help can uh, ask from Atira? Others? Maybe uh, Nur Sophia. Sophia, can you help us? Hello, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. All right. Yes. All okay. right, Sophia. Hi. So, Atira mentioned that the keyword for question one is internet and cleaner. So, can you identify which paragraph mentions using the internet to keep the planet cleaner? Paragraph C. Paragraph C. So, uh, let's check paragraph I C. I think Atira was saying C as oh, well. Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is paragraph C. All right, Sophia, can you please identify the similar keywords to the keywords in the question? Mm -hmm. So... Uh, sorry? Okay, the first keyword from the question is internet and the second keyword is cleaner. So can you please identify the similar keywords to internet and cleaner from the text? Okay, for the internet, mm -hmm. in line 6, it's similar with online. Okay, so from line 6, let's see here. So okay. the word online is similar to internet. internet. Do you agree, Fika? I do agree. Okay, mm -hmm. what about the second keyword? Cleaner. Cleaner. So, cleaner. In line five, the similar word is recycling. Okay, so ah. line five, recycling. One, two, three, four, five. So recycling. this is recycling. Okay. Uh huh, okay. All right, so recycling eventually makes the planet cleaner. Right. Okay, so let's check the question again. So which paragraph mentioned using the internet to keep the planet cleaner? How do you know that the answer is from paragraph C? Because in line number six, mm -hmm. it tells that fix them and resell them online. Okay, so he run, he and his friends run an e-waste recycling business. So he actually set up a business from their website that is using the internet. Mm -hmm. And then people sell their online gadgets to Lean. He and his team then fix them and resell them online. Ah, oh, that means website yes. iRetron is yeah. also the keyword. Yes, okay, so they okay. are actually using website, mm -hmm. which means using the internet, internet to help the planet become cleaner. Become cleaner by yes. recycling. Yes. So let's check the answer. All right. Yes, the answer ah, is paragraph you're correct, C. Well Sophia. done, Sophia. Well done. Okay, for question <laughs> number two, can I have someone? Okay, since uh, KD is clapping, can we have KD, please? She's so excited. Yeah, she looks very excited. <laughs> All right, KD, for question two, which paragraph talks about mistakes made in the past? Can you please identify the keyword first? Um... I think the keyword is mistake. 
Okay, so the keyword is mistakes. Mistakes. Is there any more keywords? Empat. Okay, so the pass. second keyword is pause. Mm -hmm. Yes, the time is very important. Mm -hmm. So pause denote the timing. Yes. Okay. Teacher, it doesn't mean there's just two or one keyword. It can be any any yes. number of keywords yes. for this. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. All right. As long as it becomes the clue for us to find the main points. So there can be three or five clues. Yes. Maybe. Ah, that would be easier, right? Uh -uh. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So for question two, from which paragraph? Can you find the similar keywords to this one? Mm -hmm. Is it paragraph A, B, C or D? Mm -hmm. I paragraph D. Paragraph D? Let's try to check paragraph D. All right. Okay, so this is paragraph D. Where is the similar keywords? Um, the similar keyword for mistake is destruction in... Line number eight and line number word for eight. Pass is last oh. century in line number five. Okay, so for the first keyword mistake, you say that the destruction is the similar keyword. Mm -hmm. For the second keyword, pass. Mm -hmm. the she mentioned last century. Oh, so this one, last century. Uh -huh. So last century is obviously past time. Past times, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see. The question Let's again. Let's see if it's correct. Okay, so paragraph, wait, paragraph D. Paragraph D talks about mistakes made in the past. Mm -hmm. So you are saying that according to Alec, when we began burning fossil fuels last century, mm -hmm. so we note the past over there, we didn't know the terrible consequences. Now, however, we do. So there is no excuse for continuing the destruction. So obviously, destruction is the mistake. Yes. So let's check the answer. Okay. Yes. Correct. True. So the answer is paragraph D. Well Good done. Good job. Okay, now let's go to question mm -hmm. three. For question three, can you pick someone, Fika? All right. Question three, let's have Aliana. Can you try answering? What Hello, are the Aliana. keywords? Yes. Hi, okay. Aliana. Yes, yes. Okay, Hi. Aliana, for question three, which paragraph describes a place where nature can be appreciated? Can you identify the keyword first? The keyword is nature. The keyword is nature. Mm -hmm. Is there any other keywords? No, just no. one. No, so nature. All right, yes. so where can you find the similar keywords to nature? Mm -hmm. As we can see in paragraph A, line number two, it's paragraph wildlife. A. Oh, okay, paragraph A. Okay. Line number two, it's wildlife. 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 Okay. Fika, do you agree that wildlife symbolizes the nature? Of course, definitely. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see the question again. All right, so paragraph. A mm -hmm. describes a place where nature can be appreciated. Mm -hmm. Aliana, can you tell me which part of the text do you get your answer? Um, in the line number four, the okay. website starts as a blog where Nadav wrote about the best places to see the animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the website started as a blog where Nadav wrote about the best places ah, to see the animals. Teacher, I'm seeing another keyword actually. Ah, yes. Can ah. you please tell me? So I don't think this is enough actually. So I where think, is the next keyword? I think Aliana was smart enough to identify one keyword and straight away know the answer. But for me, I think place is also a keyword. Yes, so Because place. it's also mentioned as places in the paragraph. Okay, is so let's check. Uh-huh. The text again. I hope I'm right. <laughs> the website started as a blog when I wrote about the best places to see the animals. So, uh, mm -hmm. he actually set up a website that follow wildlife in Kruger National Park. Right. Okay. So let's check mm -hmm. the answer. That's the place. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. It is okay. from paragraph A. All right. Nice working with you, Aliana, on this. Good job, both of you. <laughs> okay. So Next. we have about uh, six more to go. And for the others, we'll pick you later. But before that, teacher, let's take a quick short break. Uh, and we'll return with Teras on DDTV KPM.
KPM Didik TV KPM Welcome back to Teras on Didik TV KPM uh, Today we're learning about Bahasa Inggris and the title is the environment. So just now we learned about skimming. There's three steps to reading, improving your reading skills. So the first one is skimming, uh, uh, sorry, skimming, yes. And the second one is scanning. And the last one is identifying keywords. So right now we're asking questions to the students. Teacher Amira, can you proceed? Okay, so we're going to proceed with the fourth question. Okay, for question number four, can I have one student pick up? All right, so the next student is Shasha. All right, Shasha. Shasha, can you identify the keywords from this okay. question? Which paragraph explain? Uh, sorry, which paragraph mentions a project that makes money? Can you identify the keyword first? Mm -hmm. The keyword is makes money. Okay, so the keyword makes is money. the phrase makes, makes money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so from which paragraph do you identify the similar keyword to makes money? Uh, I think paragraph C. In paragraph C? Line. Let's check paragraph C. Paragraph okay, C. so this is paragraph C. Where is the similar keyword? Consumers make money. Okay, so that is from the last, the second last sentence with I return consumers make, make money. money. Okay. I think profit can also become the similar keyword to makes money. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's check the answer. All right. Which paragraph mentions a project that makes money? Yes, it is from paragraph C. Correct. Well done, Shasha. Now, can you move to question five? Okay. For question five, can I have someone pick up? All right. For question five, we'll go with... Uh, we haven't had Adrin. Adrin, sorry. Adrin, can you answer for question five? All right, Adrin. Which paragraph explains where some household rubbish ends up? Can you identify the keywords first? Mm -hmm. The keyword is household rubbish. Okay, so the keyword is household rubbish. Okay, from which text can you find the similar keywords to phrase household rubbish? Text D. Text D, let's check. Text uh, D or text B? B, both. Okay, text okay. B. All right, so where is the similar keyword? The, the similar keywords is in the sixth line. Okay, the, the sixth line. Plastic bags. Plastic right, bags. Plastic ah. bags. Okay. Okay, so let's check the question again. So paragraph C explains where some household rubbish ends up. So household rubbish refers to the plastic bag because we are making a lot of rubbish from plastic bags. True. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's check the answer. Okay. All right, All the right. answer is from paragraph B. Well done, Adrian. Well done, Adrian. All right, uh, for the remaining five questions, perhaps a uh, teacher would like to share with us the answers. Okay, mm -hmm. so for question six, mm -hmm. which paragraph describes an animal that is in danger? So let's check the paragraph. So this is paragraph A, so animal in danger. Uh -huh. So here we can see wildlife as the animals. Okay. And then the danger is the... Uh, here. Okay. To kill when them. people want to kill them, it become a danger situation, dangerous situation for them. Ah. So, okay. Yes, these are the keywords. These are the keywords. Okay. So, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So the keywords from describes an animal that is in danger is animal and danger. Animal and danger. Ah. So the answer is paragraph A. Yes. True. Okay. Okay. Moving on to question number seven. Mm -hmm. So which paragraph suggests a way to express your view about something? So we can see from here that the keyword is express, express. your view. Uh huh. Your view. Okay. So let's check the text. Express your okay, view. Okay. From paragraph D, the similar keywords to express your view is. Let's see. Uh huh. It is from the. Let last the sentences. Government know. Ah, okay, because this okay, is about you are expressing your, your view, opinions. so we can let the government know mm -hmm. what you think about through the I Met the March. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, for question eight, which paragraph explains an important discovery? So the keyword for question eight is. Can I try? Yes. All right, okay. <laughs> Obviously. So um, I think the keyword is important discovery. True. Uh huh. 
that is very obvious. So important discovery. Okay. So let's see the text. Let's see the text. Okay, it is from text B. Mm -hmm. So where do you think is the keyword? Okay, I think it's from uh, make plastic break down faster. Okay, so make plastic break down faster. Uh -huh. So here. So this is a major discovery. I think, I think so. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, that's about it. A okay. major scientific breakthrough? Yes, a major scientific breakthrough. So we can know that is this is the part when we tell the reader about the important about discovery. Important discovery. So let's check. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that means in the paragraph there can be more than yes. two uh, points, yes, keywords. True. I see. Okay. Anything that helps the reader to further comprehend the text. Uh, right. Like evidence, you need a lot of evidence to solidify the the outcome, right? Yes, true. Uh, it's the same thing. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. For question nine, which paragraph mentions using lawyers to solve a problem? So this is very interesting. The keyword is lawyers. Lawyers. Okay, we can see from the text, yes, text D. Mm -hmm. okay, can you help me to identify the keywords for text D? Where where do we know that they are using lawyers in the text D? Okay, let's see. I can see court. Yeah. Because that has everything to do with lawyers. Yes. And what else? Is there more than one answer? Maybe only one. One is enough. Ah, uh, okay. I, I think, think that's one enough. is suffice already. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we, we know that things happening in court usually legal affairs, so they will involve mm -hmm. lawyers. All right. So let's check the text. Yes. Ah, so it is D. Okay. okay. Last but not least, question number 10. So which paragraph describes how to reuse useful rubbish? Mm -hmm. So the keyword here is reuse, reuse. useful rubbish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check the text. All right. Okay, for text mm -hmm. C, reuse useful rubbish. As mm -hmm. you can see from the fourth line to the fifth line, mm -hmm. he and his friends run an e-waste recycling. Right. So we know from the word recycling, mm -hmm. we are reusing. People sell their old gadgets to Lin He and his team then fix them and resell them online. I so see. reusing the useful rubbish. Okay. So instead of people throwing out the mobile phones, they take the mobile phones and repairing and resell them again. I see. Okay, so that means the answer is Ta -da. C. All well right. Done. Okay, Miss Amira, thank you so much for that. I think uh, we don't have so much time for today, but we've gone through the important stuff, which is uh, first of all skimming scanning and identifying the keywords. So I hope the students here, uh, Aliana, KD, Atira, Shasha, Adrin, and uh, Sophia, you've all got some input from today's lesson. And before that, can we have some last words very quickly from you? Okay, uh -huh. so I think the importance of saving the environment is we need to try every way possible in order to save the environment. For example, we need to educate other people about the importance of environment. And then we also can try to practice 3R, reuse, reduce and recycle. Mm -hmm. And then we can try to become a plant parent by growing at least one plant at home. Yes, it doesn't hurt to grow a plant, okay? All right, that's all we have for today. For viewers out there, please stay tuned. At the same time, tomorrow we'll be on Terrace again on DD TV KPM. I'll see you when I see you. Take care and bye. Assalamualaikum. My name is Arnis. I'm a mother of one and I love drinking coffee. I switched to metal straws a few years back. It was actually one of the first zero-waste swaps I ever made. Metal straws bring great benefits to our environment. It's portable, durable, easy to clean and eco-friendly. Since this straw is made of stainless steel, reusing it is allowed and made it possible to save the environment. I'm Saifu. One way of how I can improve our environment is by cycling. It is good for your health and practically zero pollution. Let's go. <laughs>